man, Scott or the Scott man, it's been a while since I've turned on this GoPro. So I haven't filmed anything in a few weeks. Although, when it comes to video uploads, you're not going to really notice a, a difference at all or anything. But anyway, I'm here to do a driving video here on I-75 going from I-94 just on the north side of Midtown of Detroit, Michigan, heading all the way up to M59 up in Auburn Hills, Michigan. I have filmed a video on this stretch before, however, it was at least five years ago and the video quality was horrible. It's like, I just watched it back the other day and I was getting a headache watching it because it was really, really bumpy for two reasons. One, like the, the freeway, especially in Oakland County, was a lot more bumpy than it is now. And two, it was in my old camera setup which did not take bumps very well, unlike the GoPro, which handles it very well. So with a lot of the driving videos I filmed back when I, first year or two I was doing driving videos, I want to redo a lot of the, or a lot of them. Just to get more, or like newer updates to them with much better quality. So here we do just that, and it's not too bad of a day out today. It's kind of cloudy. The sun's peeping out periodically throughout the day, so it's not all that bad. And it's pretty much around average for temperatures here in Southeast Michigan. My current thermometer is reading 36 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about two degrees Celsius, maybe two, or maybe more like two and a half degrees Celsius. Getting closer to, yeah, two, two and a half. But yeah, we actually had snow fall on Christmas morning here. After hardly having any snow throughout the month of December, it's like we end up getting a white Christmas after all. So even at Christmas Eve, there was it was just grass. Although there were snow showers on, or there were snow showers on Saturday, or not Saturday, today is Saturday. My days are all mixed up just because I've been off on vacation for two weeks. And anyway, we're just past the interchange for the Davidson Freeway or M8. Although I don't think anybody calls it M8. I think everybody just calls it the Davidson or Davidson Freeway. Yeah, right now we're just in the northern parts of Detroit right now. And then yeah, we even drove through the western part of Hamtramck just a ways back, over back toward Acana Street. Actually, is it Acana or Canaf? I've always wondered about that. I tried looking that up and I couldn't find the correct pronunciation. <laughs> It's like with it being a warmer day today, it's like we got a lot of snow melt going on, so it's a little messy out there. I ended up getting my car my car washed before starting my little adventure today, but it's probably almost gonna need another one <laughs> before I go home. Well, I'm not gonna get two in one day, that's ridiculous, but maybe in a week. <laughs> But yeah, it's been, it's been a pretty nice holiday season so far. I had a pretty nice Christmas, although a lot different one this year. It's been all that's been going on. It's, it's like, yeah, we, yeah, for Christmas, I was just with my parents this year. So we kept it very, very small. But still, it was, really, it was really nice, though. But again, it felt a lot different because normally on Christmas Eve, it's always my parents and I. Both my sisters come over, and then of course all their kids are with my four nieces and my one nephew, but couldn't do that this year, which was uh, quite a bummer, but oh well, we'll look forward to we'll look forward to the next one though. And here's the oh, we just passed the exit for eight mile with 
with 8 Mile being right here, and we are now entering Hazel Park in Oakland County. And between here at 8 Mile all the way to like south of M59, they are either have or are currently doing a total reconstruction of I 75. But now they have smooth concrete compared to the mess that you had earlier. It's a lot better now. It's like they're planning to make it eventually four lanes, but have an, an HOV or high occupancy vehicle lane, which is meant for like, uh, it's either going to be two or three or more people. But they'll put that in once this whole stretch between 8 Mile and M59 is complete. But yeah, they're currently working on the stretch between 8 Mile and 696 right now. They got this side of the freeway done. Next year, they got to work on the other side. So it's like through here, yeah, they've been changing the surface of the freeway here. It's a lot, lot better now. They've added brand new overpasses, bridges. Even, even concrete barrier walls, too. But, yeah, right there, you can see it's incomplete. And, yeah, coming up shortly, we have the interchange with 696. I don't know if they're doing any road work or plan to do road work on the interchange itself. Well, whether they are or not, it, it won't be during the winter because it's the project's on hold until like late winter or early spring. But yeah, this is the old freeway service here. This is this stretch between here and like 13 mile, this is the last stretch which has to be done. They haven't started over here yet. They'll probably do that either next fall or going into 2022. But yeah, right now we're on the border of Royal Oak and Madison Heights. We've got Madison Heights on our right side and then Royal Oak on the left side. Yeah, over the holiday season, I've been going out on different nights, checking out all the different Christmas lights and decorations in a lot of the Metro Detroit suburbs. And as a matter of fact, last night I went over to Mazin Heights. So I was just over here last night, and there's some good light displays out of Mazin Heights. Lanes in 
2019, and then this year, or this year, 2020, they, although this video is going up in 2021, but in 2020, they did the, the southbound lanes. And they're also doing a new interchange configuration for 14 Mile Road. It's gonna be similar to the interchange with University Drive up in Auburn Hills. If you wanna see what the, what the type of interchange is gonna look like, yeah, check out my Auburn Hills driving tour video I did a few months ago where I show an example of that. And with crossing over 14 Mile Road, we are now in Troy. So you can see how wide the left shoulder is because eventually uh, when the whole reconstruction is complete they're going to make that an HOV lane which I believe will be the first for the state of Michigan so I've, se I've seen them a lot in other states like there's they got those in like, California they got, them, they got a lot of those in Texas I know there's some in North Carolina I've seen some in Virginia people going really slow on the freeway today. Oh, the sun's starting to come out, so that's good. But yeah, it's like it's not going to be a perfect weather day today because we do got rain coming in tonight. So that'll probably melt a lot more of the snow than what the sunshine and the warmer temperatures are doing today. Alright, now I can get over. Look, that's the exit for Rochester Road. Yep. A lot of shopping over there. A lot of restaurants over by Big Beaver and Rochester as well. This is really, really nice. Because yeah, what was happening in early 2019 was, especially on this on this stretch of freeway, especially going north of Big Beaver, which we'll see in a couple minutes. And during the winter, before they started the reconstruction, there were so many potholes. There was one day there were there were some. So many potholes were formed on this freeway. There were dozens of cars. I'm not kidding. Dozens of cars with blown out tires. It looked like a, almost, I wouldn't say like a war zone, but. I don't know what that was. That's. Oh well. But yeah, they're also redoing the interchange with Big Beaver as well. Because it used to be to where you had one exit going east and then one exit going west, but they're combining into one because they're also doing a similar type of interchange as they are with 14 Mile Road. But yeah, it's like the whole area of I-75 Big Beaver, they've been doing a lot of construction on buildings too. It's like a lot of restaurants have gone up, new office complexes, even a parking garage too. say this is really nice and it's like because of the pandemic it's like and with a lot more people staying home especially in the spring of 2020 they were able to expedite a lot of the road construction on this part so I think they were able to get down with this a little bit quicker than they originally were predicting
break from work. Yeah, I'm currently at the midpoint of the break right now. So it's been really nice to have two full weeks off. So I had a because I I had a week off for Thanksgiving and felt like it wasn't long enough. So this will be this will really be nice. And then go back to work in eight days. Although probably start off the year at home still. Although cases of the virus have really gone down. Of course, things could change by the time this video goes up, but as of late December 2020, numbers have really, really dropped, which is which is really nice. So because of that, we might be going back in the office a couple times a week again. Hopefully not in the days where we get snow. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll work from home. <laughs> but as I've been driving, I feel like, yeah, there's a little bit more snow out here than there was down in Detroit. Then again, the temperature has dropped a degree or two Fahrenheit since I started this video. And then the other, the first stretch of the I-75 reconstruction, which they worked on, was between here and just south of M59. It's like starting basically from here all the way to close to where we're going to be ending this video. They worked on this part between 2000 or 2017 and 2018. But it looks pretty similar to what we were seeing back there. But one of the big features of this upcoming part is they also did a total reconstruction of the interchange with business I-75 or Square Lake Road. Because the old exit for Square Lake Road, you'd have to be over in the left lane and then you get off to the, to the left, or exit off to the left and then head over, to, eventually over to Square Lake Road using the, connect, the connector ramps. Now they built it on the right side, which makes it a lot more safe because people tend to drive faster to the left lane. So this is significantly safer. Not that too, but the entrance ramp to northbound 75 from Squirrel Lake is now on the right side too, instead of the left. Because you have a lot of people coming over from Squirrel Lake Road going off or getting on I-75 to go to M59 to go east toward Utica, Shelby Township, Sterling Heights, and people would have to cross over several lanes of the freeway, or maybe like a few lanes. Now you don't have to do that. Heck, I, I was watching back my old video. I even made a comment like. I hope they make improvements in this interchange someday. Well, here you go. <laughs> but yeah, once it's all completely done between M59 and 8 Mile, this is looking very modern now. It's like, now I feel like you're driving on a freeway and you're not necessarily in Michigan because you don't necessarily have potholes or anything like that. So now we're in Auburn Hills and M59 is going to be coming up in about another mile and a quarter approximately. So I'll have to film, yeah, again, I-75 from M59 to I-475 up near Grand Blank and Flint. I'll film that another day. Try to replace the old video I did. And we're about to go over the Flint River. How about that? Alright, so I'm going to get ready to conclude this video here. So thank you for watching this video on here on I-75 North going from I-94 near Midtown Detroit 
all the way to M59 here in Auburn Hills, Michigan. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join you for the adventure. And uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thanks for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out.